<laughs> it was a landmark divorce settlement, $1 billion for the wife of fracking billionaire Harold Hamm. But now he says he can't pay because the price of oil is so cheap. Joining us from Denver is divorce attorney Sharon Lyko. And Sharon, come on. He's crying poverty and he's worth billions. He's going to lose. Isn't That's he? right. One, my, one man's ceiling is another man's floor. Uh, yeah, he's going to lose. It's really hard to overturn a judge's decision. The appellate court ha can reverse a district court judge only if the judge has either made an error in applying the law or they've abused their discretion. And assuming the judge understood the law that he applied, they have to find an abuse of discretion. So, for example, if she's used to spending a hundred million a year on her upkeep, and she's 58 years old, a billion dollars probably isn't going to cut it for the rest of her life. So she gets more. <laughs> unless she gets more. Well, but assuming she, she can live on less than that, that's, that's it, man. But, but, but he said, Sharon, he, he, he said at the original settlement, he thanked the judge and called it on record equitable. Doesn't that essentially get him thrown out right there? Equitable doesn't mean equal. Equitable means fair. So if the um, husband doesn't think it's fair at this point, but the judge felt it was equitable at the time he made the decision, that equals too bad okay. for the husband. So, so to I, with it. I'm not a lawyer, but I play one on TV. Let me go to someone who's studying law who wants to get in on this discussion. Sharon, it seems like Mr. Ham has quite a bit of audacity. I mean, you look at this $1 billion. It permitted him to keep 94% of his $18 billion increase of his stock shares during their 26 years of marriage. If that's yeah. not fair, what is? Well, you've got to look at the, the law in Oklahoma, and he started this company or he had his ownership for 20 years prior to getting married. So that 20 years, the value of the business for those 20 years and the appreciation in that um, value is his. Sure, separate. but they were, they were married so for she, 26 years. She raised their, that, two that's right. their two children, and I feel like sometimes that's underestimated. The homemaker, the wife sitting at home who's raising the kids, the value of that role is all too often underestimated so and I think that this is actually one of those cases well I've read that she they didn't have any kids so she was playing the corporate wife and that would be her contribution to the marriage however if she sat home eating chocolate bonbons and embarrassed him in public because she was drunk or something the court isn't going to consider her contribution to be worth much you know what I'm but thinking here Sharon playing the I, I'm what? thinking we need to bring in Mary Chapin Carpenter and play that song, He Thinks He'll Keep Her, from uh, it was a big hit back <laughs> in the 90s. I, I, I got to ask you about this before I let you go. It's another billionaire divorce situation, only this one, this one is beyond me. Elon Musk and his wife are splitting up. Again, they were married, divorced, then remarried in 2013. Now they're getting divorced. How often does this happen, that a couple that divorces gets remarried? How often does that happen and they make it? And how often does that happen and they get divorced? It happens rarely. I practiced for 30 years and I've had two, three cases where people have remarried. Um, one case, they were married for a short time and then divorced, no kids, and then they got remarried and they were married for 30 years and had four kids and, and several millions of dollars to divide. Um, another case, they were married for about equal parts of time, and then it becomes more complicated when they get married and divorced a second time, dividing the separate from the marital property. But, you know, people make snap decisions. Sometimes they get divorced out of fear, anger, and they're not ready emotionally. Right. And obviously these people weren't. But, um, like, back to uh, Mr. Ham, I mean, the wife's going to have to find some way to scrape by on a billion dollars. I, you know, and this is, I got to tell you, Sharon, as I let you go, a billion dollars, trust me, doesn't go as far as it used to. It's I would not, love to right. find out. <laughs> it's not worth what it used to be. No, it's not. <laughs> Sharon Lyko, thank you very much. Happy New Year. Up next.